nothing like a campfire. Yeah, dog. I'm trying to pull up this stump so I can build a bebop cord. I'm about as swole as a grumpus can get, and I can't move this thing at all. I gotta be stronger than a grumpus. I gotta push my limits, you feel me? Uh, I need your help to bulk up. If you go find the biggest, buffest bug snacks around, and I eat them, maybe I'll gain their strength. <laughs> ah, nothing like getting toasted. Well met. Doing. Oh, not too bad. Actually, would you mind helping me out here? I dug up this journal out in the canyon. It's, um, a record of historical landmarks and bug snacks. I want to follow in the writer's footsteps. So, uh, if it's not too much trouble, would you want to go exploring with me? Oh, you're too kind. The first place of note is in Flavor Falls. Meet me there whenever's good for you. <laughs> Alrighty, what we're looking for is a big stone grumpus face and a bug snack called a pinkle. Let's look around.
That nifty. Oh, wow, that's a good one. You might have noticed pinkle statues scattered around here. These must have been an important food source to the ancient grumps. That there would be the work of the ancient stone grumps, a civilization from over 5,000 years ago. All that's left of them is statuary and some puzzling mechanisms. Unlike the desert grumps, these folks didn't preserve their dead. In fact, the writer thinks they would sacrifice him to the bug snacks, like an offering to the gods and whatnot. This means bug snacks may be a more lasting legacy than any of the stuff they built. Well, I was hoping to find a camp of some sort, maybe a corpse or two. But oh well, there's plenty more spots to check out. Let's head back to Snacksburg for now. How's it hanging? Aloha, 
Aloha! Sander. Oh. Wow. Sander. Mm. Oh, I can feel the harmony building within me. But I'm still not quite there. I'm sure this seems excessive, but it's just... It's the... It's the creative process. Do you know how I wrote Do the Wiggle? I stumbled into the studio two hours late. I hadn't slept in five days, and I was holding a banjo for some reason. I couldn't remember my own name, much less what I was going to sing. So in my haze, I just made it up on the spot. Two weeks later, I had a platinum record, and apparently, I'd invented banjo pop. Needless to say, it's been a hard act to follow. Darling, are you ready to help me top the charts? Triffany told me about a bug snack in the desert that only appears during the full moon. A creature in tune with the cosmos. Something that beautiful must also be significant, no? is what peak performance looks like. Or, you know, almost. There's no gaining without training, dog. I got a new exercise in mind, if you're ready to spot me. I set up these hanging weights all around town. I'm gonna jog around. You use your grappler to knock them down on top of me. Maybe for you and Snorpy, but this is what I gotta do to challenge myself. Now get me to five weights. Let's do this, bro. More weight. Ooh, that's How's it heavy, going, bro? Keep them coming. Hey. Buddy. Hello. Hello. Ooh, that's heavy, bro. More weight. I feel swole, dog. Now let's see what you got, Stump. Oh, Grump. I think my bicep exploded. But that's okay. I just gotta rest up and keep training. With this bug snack body, I'll get there. Cause if I don't, who's gonna have Snorpy's back?
Hmm. Here it comes. The Ballad of a Generation. Book snacks. Bugs snacks on the island in my mouth. So tasty. Well, that's all I have so far. It's a work in progress, but what do you think? Don't patronize me, darling. The truth is written all over your face. I don't know why I bother. I know I don't have any real talent. My whole career was an accident. <sighs> Sorry, darling. I need to be alone for a while. Thank <laughs> you.